About the death in the Oakdale jail. It was regrettable. Beyond that, I have no comment. Why wasn't Mr. Clegg released? I understand Judge Morrison signed a writ. Detective, what about your role in this? Guess what? This is a private party. Excuse Will there be me? an investigation? Could we have more comments? Seriously, later? Have risen about we'll issue a statement in the morning. You... By the morning, the snowball's going to be an avalanche. Yep. And not a St. Bernard in sight. This has been on my case already for months. Well, if it's any comfort to you, honey, this time, we're all in trouble. Hi, Mom. Whoa. New dress, huh? Oh, I certainly hope so. <laughs> oh, darling, don't you look just beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you do. We always do. <laughs> Thank you. You know, sorry about those reporters, but I gotta tell you, one of them was from your paper. Oh, well, they're just doing what they're supposed to do, you know, keeping the First Amendment alive. Don't you worry, though. <laughs> Nothing can spoil this evening for me. Well, there's something about the whole suicide that doesn't smell right. You know, I gotta tell you, I can understand Clegg killing somebody else but himself. I mean, what, did I miss something? No, we all did. It just, just doesn't add up. And here we thought we were gonna flip him. And now our star witness is out of breath. Permanently. But it does make it convenient for one person, don't you think? Jesse. Uh, thank you. It's amazing, hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, So, where's Bob? Oh, honey, he sent his love and his regrets. Oh, Cam, you mean he didn't get away from that medical convention? Well, sweetheart, he couldn't. You know, he tried, but he's a keynote speaker, and the convention's been planned for months. He did prepare me for this, but I'm still disappointed. Hey, I'm just happy you're here, though. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so where's John? Oh, he's preparing my big surprise. <laughs> He's such a little devil. <laughs> well, I guess you guys had to run the gauntlet of media jackals, too. Well, they smell blood. Prosecutorial misconduct, police incompetence, cover-up, you I'm name sure it. sure it was Clegg's lawyers who riled them up. Well, I'm not gonna let them blow this into some kind of a major scandal. Hey, they've already got quite a head of steam raised. This Clegg thing? Something rotten about it. Yeah, well, we were just talking about that. I can't tell you how much it really bugs me. Then do me a favor. Solve it. I've already asked for a rush on the autopsy report, a list of all personnel, who went in, who went out, and I need it now. It's already underway. Got any idea who Clegg's last visitor was? According to the logbook, it was Jessica. I don't know. What do you suppose is taking John so long? Well, punctuality is not one of my fiancé's virtues, but he makes up for it in panache and uh, finesse. Well, I know you don't believe this, but your father can be very romantic. <laughs> yeah, I guess the cynicism's just a cover. Underneath it all, he's a regular Don Juan, huh? <laughs> Job is going to John. Well, honey, I, look, he's he's going to be interviewed for it, but that's just strictly a formality. You mean he doesn't know about it? Well, well, no, heavens, look now, that's part of the surprise. See, I've just been waiting to spring it on him tonight, and I had to pull a few strings to do this. What did set you back, Mom? Scott, you mean you're funding this chair? Yes, yes. Well, Lisa, that's very generous of you. Oh, well, it looks like we're in for an evening of surprises. Uh, I have someone I have to talk to. Excuse me, Earl. You be all right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go get some air. 